Dr. Mexico Even kwa Brazil hapa. is here. Hata Brazil hapa. We are all gathered as a nation. Sote tumekusanyika kama taifa. The Church of Christ. Kanisa la Kristo. Before the Lord. Mbele za Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We did. May the Lord bless you. Hebu Bwana awabarikie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Mine is to bring to you the mighty prophet of the Lord. Hivyo kwangu mimi ni kuwaleteni nabii mkuu wa Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before I bring you the mighty prophet. Lakini kabla sijawaletea nabii mkuu wa Bwana. Please allow me today. Tafadhali mkaniruhusu leo hii. To formally introduce the mighty prophet to this nation. Likaweze kumtambuliza rasmi nabii mkuu wa Bwana katika taifa hili. We have never done this. Hatujawahi kufanya hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah because many people ask who is the mighty prophet of the Lord Kwa sababu watu wengi wanauliza nabii mkuu wa Bwana ndiye nani So let me introduce the mighty prophet Hivyo to you Hivyo basi wacha nimtangulize nabii mkuu wa Bwana kwenu The man of God the mighty prophet Nabii mkuu wa Mungu Nabii mkuu wa Mungu Nabii mkuu wa Mungu ama mtumishi wa Mungu nabii mkuu ama mtumishi wa Mungu nabii did his Doctor degree at the University of Haifa on Mount Carmel in Israel. Alifanya shahada yake ya udaktari katika hospitali ya Haifa Mount Carmel kule Israeli. And immediately after that, na mara tu baada ya hapo, he received appointments to two major institutions in medicine in the United States of America. Akapokea mialiko miwili katika majimbo ya moja Marekani. One was at the Center for Advanced Biotechnology and Medicine of the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. Moja ilikuwa Center for Advanced Biotechnology and Medicine, Biotechnology and Medicine of the University of Medicine ya Chuo Kikuu cha Udaktari and Dentistry of New Jersey. Na madaktari wa meno ya New Jersey. Another appointment na mwaliko mwingine was at the center of pharmacy ilikuwa kati ya pharmacy the center for pharmaceutical biochemistry biotechnology center for pharmaceutical biotechnology of the university of illinois at chicago ya chuo kikuu cha illinois kule chicago so he chose to take up the appointment hivyo basi akachagua kuchukua mialiko hiyo at the center for pharmaceutical biotechnology katika center for pharmaceutical biotechnology of the university of illinois at chicago ya chuo kikuu cha illinois kule chicago at the university of illinois katika chuo kikuu cha illinois the man of god was hired first as a postdoctoral post fellow nabii wa mungu alichukuliwa kama daktari wa postro mm -hmm. uh, to, re, to do research after the phd degree kufanya utafiti baada ya shahada ya uzamili and uh, teaching na kufundisha at the college of pharmacy katika college of pharmacy and specifically the department of pharmacokinetics na haswa sana eneo la pharmacokinetics the department of pharmaco pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics department of kinetics don't worry don't worry about these heavy words the department of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics <laughs> Department of and as he specialized, he specialized. Na yeye akawa mtalam and became the specialist of the branch of drug metabolism. Na akawa mtalam wa drug metabolism known as signal transduction. Don't Ina... worry, don't worry about them. They are very heavy. Let me just say about it in two minutes. He became a specialist of the branch of drug metabolism known as signal transduction and he majored in signal transduction by cancer chemotherapeutic drugs. It was during that time that he was also a lecturer and he instructed postdoctoral students and doctors of pharmacy on oncoprotein networks and especially mitogen activated protein kinases at, the, at that time he also worked at the center for pharmaceutical biotechnology in the same institute and he did extensive research on signaling by cancer chemo chemotherapeutic drugs in different kinds of human cancers 
That means the man of God became a specialist in cancer research. And he did several work in cervical carcinoma, breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and other adenocarcinoma. In that research, the man of God was involved with a team that was deeply engaged in drug design and drug discovery. The work that he did made him to be appointed at the Center for Pharmaceutical Biotechnology, now as a lecturer and a member of staff. The man of God was also later appointed to the Department of Pharma Pharmaceutics at Ernest Mario School of Pharmacy at the State University of New Jersey at the Department of Pharmaceutics and in that department the man of God looked at cancer chemotherapy but he was also involved in a lot of work in cancer chemo prevention. It is then that the man of God was also interested in the effects of environment, environmental insults such as benzene, mercury, cigarette smoking, and their roles in causing cancer. And this work that he did also included a lot of work, especially looking at the processes of tumorigenesis, the process by which tumors or cancer tumors grow, and especially the cancers in the human body, cervical cancer, colon cancer, and breast cancer. He was later hired at the, the Cancer Institute of New Jersey, CINJ, the Cancer Institute of New Jersey, and in the Department of Surgery and the Division of Surgical Oncology within the University of Medicine and Dentistry in New Jersey. At that time, the man of God, the mighty prophet, was appointed as a research and teaching specialist three. This, his role at the university included training surgeons who are involved in oncology to understand the process that leads to tumor angiogenesis. This is the process that makes tumors grow in the body and they command the cells that are adjacent to them to grow tubes to feed them. The process by which cancer tumors grow and proliferate and become resistant. At that time, the man of God, the mighty prophet, discovered two major gene switches by which the cancer tumors become resistant. And he examined two gene switches that control cancer angiogenesis, one of them being vascular endothelial growth factor A and vascular endothelial growth factor B. It was then that the man of God was so much involved in transcriptional re regulation of gene expression, how genes express themselves and grow to resist cancer or to drugs that cure cancer. The man of God, the mighty prophet, was finally employed at the Civil Aerospace Medical Institute, KEMI, of the Federal Aviation Administration in the Department of Forensic Toxicology and Aircraft Accidents. At that department, the man of God, the mighty prophet, examined what are the major causes or the human factors that cause aircraft crashes. And he looked at many, many of the human factors, including the effect of alcohol, drug abuse, disease among pilots, and many other things. He was basically involved in looking at whether when the pilot is at 6,000 feet above sea level, and he was taking drugs on earth. Does it require to change the drug administration program, or does it remain the same? What happens if a pilot is on drugs on earth, taking tablets, and he's high up there? 
does it work in the same pattern does it is it still effective what happens that they collapse in the cockpit and they pass off or pass away during that level of work the lord began to pursue the man of god from israel tangia wakati huo na mungu akaanza kumuita na nabii wa mungu kutoka israeli and when he was in america na wakati alipokuwa marekani but finally he gave up and accepted to serve the lord lakini hatimaye akajipeana na akakubali kumtumikia bwana as the prophet of god kama nabii wa bwana haleluya haleluya and ever since the man of god the mighty prophet came to kenya na tangia wakati nabii mkuu wa mungu alipokuja kenya i know now you are expectant and very soon i'm going to receive the mighty prophet of the lord najua sasa mwatarajia ninaenda kumpokea nabii mkuu wa bwana but allow me to also tell you something about the mighty prophet of the lord lakini mnuruhusu pia niwaambie kitu kumhusu nabii mkuu wa bwana during his career wakati wa kazi yake during the academic career of the mighty prophet of the lord wakati wa masomo ya kazi ya nabii wa mungu the man of god published many many papers nabii mkuu wa mungu aliandikisha majarida mengi mno some in top notch journals nyingine zao zikiwa ni majarida including the journal of biological chemistry kuhusisha majarida ya bi, bio, biological chemistry he published many many journals aliandika majarida mengi mengi zaidi and was also highly honored in his research in the united states of america na pia aliheshimika zaidi katika utafiti wake katika majimbo ya moja marekani Today I was looking at the index Leo nilikuwa natazama index the index of the American index ya majarida la kimarekani of the American Aerospace Medicine ya uh, jarida la American Aerospace and they were featuring na walikuwa wakiangazia some of the most you know some of the scientists that have significantly contributed to aerospace medicine baadhi ya wanasayansi ambao wamesaidia sana katika aerospace medicine this one came out in 2013 hii ilitoka mwaka 2013 and when i checked na nilipochunguza i found the name of the man of god the mighty prophet nikapata jina la nabii mkuu wa mungu haleluya haleluya I have seen at least more than 10 papers nimeona anga majarida kumi that he has published in top notch journals ambayo ameandika and some very very powerful reviews na baadhi ya semi za nguvu zaidi zaidi that people depend on to do research in the United States of America ambayo watu wanategemea kufanya utafiti katika majimbo ya moja Marekani one paper that i have in my hands today jarida moja wapo ndo nalo mkononi mwangu leo hii is phosphorylation of transcriptional coactivator prox proxosome profilator activated receptor binding proteins Don't worry about those tough tough jargons. They are also difficult to me as they are to you. But this is top notch science, deep science. Lakini hii ni science ya juu ya kiwango ya juu ya juu ya vilindini zaidi. He was looking at the impact of phosphorylation. Alikuwa anaangalia athari ya phosphorylation as it it as they modify drugs jinsi ambavyo inabadilisha madawa as they design new drugs in cancer wanapotengeneza madawa mapya katika saratani they design new drugs wanatengeneza madawa mapya there is a process of phosphorylation kuna hatua ya phosphorylation they phosphorylate proteins wana wana phosphorylate proteins so that they can deliver the drug to the target ili kwamba wakaweze kufikia ile ile dawa ikafikia lengo lao and at that time he was working with many many you know pharmaceutical companies na wakati na wakati huo alikuwa anafanya na kampuni nyingi za madawa katika majimbo ya moja marekani designing drugs for them wakiti akiwatengenezea madawa i have a paper here niko na jarida hapa very top paper ya juu zaidi ya kiwango cha juu in the journal of 
biological chemistry katika jarida ya biological chemistry activation of mitogen activated protein kinase pathways in especially induced and oxidant response element mediated gene expression via nuclear factor 2 dependent mechanism I have a paper he published in Aerospace Medicine Technical Reports. Isolation of RNA from peripheral blood cells, a validation study for molecular diagnostics by microarray kinetic RT-PCR assay. The man of God, the mighty prophet, designed this process to help in forensic toxicology kusaidia katika forensic toxicology to be able to find out the cause waweze kutafuta ama chanzo of crash cha ajali or, or investigations in crime ama kuta, kufanya utafiti katika kufanya makosa for example to trace thieves and evil people kwa mfano kutafuta wezi ama watu wa ovu they used this method to design this method using DNA fingerprinting. Walitumia hali hii ama hatua hii kutumia DNA na ile kutolewa ya kidole. He designed it and it works. Alitengeza na ikafanya kazi. I have a paper here. Ninalo jarida hapa. That he published in the Journal of Biochemical Pharmacology. Ambayo alichapisha katika biochemical pharmacology on antioxidants and oxidant related signal transduction pathways. <laughs> I have seen serious reviews nimeona semi za kumaanisha because the man of God the mighty prophet kwa sababu mtumishi wa Mungu nabii mkuu wa Mungu was among the top scientists alikuwa miongoni mwa wasayansi wa kiwango cha juu that was satisfied by distinction ambao walikuwa wametosheleshwa na utofauti in this kind of work in the laboratory katika aina hii ya kazi katika maabara yao they were satisfied by distinction walikuwa wametosheleshwa kwa utofauti in their time they became top in the country kwa wakati wao walifanyika wa kiwango cha juu katika haleluya Hallelujah. Now let us stand before the Lord. Sasa wacha tusimame mbele za Bwana. And with a mighty hand clap of hands. Na kwa sadaka kuu ya kupiga makofi. Please join me to welcome the mighty prophet of the Lord. Tafadhali ungana pamoja nami kumkaribisha nabii mkuu wa Bwana. Hallelujah. 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 Let us pray right away. Wacha tuombe papo hapo. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Wacha tuombe katika jina kuu la Yesu. The name above all names. Jina lililopo majina juu ya majina yote. Mighty Father. Baba mkuu. Father, the God of heaven. Baba Mungu wa binguni. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Abrahamu. The God of Isaac and Jacob. Mungu wa Isaka na Yakobo. Father, look tonight. Baba tazama usiku wa leo. The nations are gathered here. Mataifa yamekusanyika hapa. To seek you. Kukutafuta wewe. To come before your counsel kuja mbele ya shauri lako and to hear from you na kusikia toka kwako that you may give them leadership ya kwamba ukawapatie uongozi the leading of the lord mwongozo wa bwana that the church of christ ya kwamba kanisa la kristo world over kote kote ulimwenguni globally kote kote duniani may be able to receive this likaweze kupokea haya and hear this na kusikia hii and prepare the way na kuandaa njia for the glorious coming of the messiah kwa sababu ya kukuja kwa 
mtukufu kwa masihi father open their spiritual ears baba yafungue masikio yao ya kiroho and spiritual eyes na macho yao ya kiroho that they may prepare the glorious way ya kwamba wakaweze kuyanda njia ya utukufu the holy way njia takatifu for the coming of the christ kwa sababu ya kukuja kwa kristo in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu amen amina haleluya haleluya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty day. Ni siku kuu kiasi gani? While still standing. Mkiwa mngali mume simama. While we are still standing. Tungali tukiwa tumesimama. What a tremendous day. Ni siku ya ajabu kiasi gani? To live to see. Kuishi kupata kuiona. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While we are still standing. Tukiwa tungali tumesimama. I have prayed for this day. Nimeyombea siku hii. I have cried for this day. Nimeililia siku hii for a very long time. Kwa muda mrefu zaidi. That one day, lakini siku moja, the church of Christ, kanisa la Kristo, may assemble. Likakusanyike in a holy assembly. Katika kusanyiko takatifu. And hear this. Na wapate kusikia haya. Hear from the Lord. Wasikie toka kwa Bwana. That the church, ya kwamba kanisa may eventually likaweze hatimaye prepare the way kuandaa njia for the coming of the Lord kwa sababu ya kukuja kwa Bwana.